Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Ganesh. This is Samir Sardana, and in this video, we will be discussing CAT 2021 Slot 2. Complete quad solution in one shot will be discussed with no formula, no equation approach, and also how to solve the question under one minute. One minute me, a question CAT 2021 ka ap kaise solve kar sakte ho? What should be the right interpretation of the statements? How can you avoid equations to solve the question under one minute? And you will see that ki Pura ka pura topic CAT 2021 ka bahut hi basic concepts ke upar based hai. You don't need advanced concepts understanding to solve this question guys, right? Let's have a discussion on the question number 1, CAT 2021, slot 2. Question number 1 is from mixture and solution. From a container filled with milk, 9 liter of milk are drawn and replaced with water. So, uh, mixture solution ka agar aapko basic idea hai, you can easily solve the question. There's a container filled with milk. You're taking 9 liter of this solution and you're replacing it with 9 liter of pure water. And finally, you're doing this operation for one more time. That means taking a solution, uh, you're taking 9 liter of the solution, replace it with 9 liter of water. This whole thing has been done twice. And finally, the volume of milk and water in the container are now in the ratio of 16 ratio 9. So guys, initially, you see that this is filled with the milk. That means initially in the container, you have 1 out of 1 milk. And finally, when you have done this operation, the final milk out of total solution is 16 out of total 25. So, 1 out of 1 milk se aapne 16 out of 25 milk bana diya. Mixture and solution ka basic funda is this, that every time you remove a part of the solution and replace with some other things, there would be a decrement of milk in this particular case. Why? Because you are taking 9 liter of a solution, this may milk bhi hoga, water bhi hoga. First wale mein only milk hoga, second time karne pe milk or water dono hoga. Lekin aapne jo replace kiya jis content se, that is pure water. So can I say, water is coming more as compared to the content that is going out? If we talk about only water. So milk jo hoga, milk jo is mein pehle solution tha, right? Replacement kyunki water ka ho raha hai, to milk ka jo concentration hoga, percentage hoga, that will keep on decreasing. Okay, and mixture and solution says ki every time you do this removal and replacement, milk ka decrement jo hoga, wo successive decrement hoga by a percentage that depends on this solution, this quantity as a part of the whole solution. Matlab ye pura content, ye 9 liter pure solution ka jo percentage banega, us percentage se milk ka decrement hoga every time you are doing this operation. So, this operation we have done two times. So, you see that two times, one out of one ka solution is becoming 16 by 25. That means, the decrement laga, us decrement ka multiplying factor two bar. Why? Raised to power 2? Because you are doing this operation for two times. Is equal to 16 out of 25. So, one bar removal and replacement, karne se, right? Aapka, jo multiplying factor aega, that would be 4 by 5. So, 9 liter aapne solution ko remove kiya and the multiplying factor is equal to 4 by 5. Now you should know how to read it. 4 by 5 ka multiplying factor ka meaning hua ki aapne total mein se 1 by 5 solution remove kiya hoga. Because agar mujhe kisi total value ko 1, kisi particular value ko 1 by 5 se decrease karna hai, to final value 4 by 5 t raha jayega. To basically hum ye read kar raha hai ki total se 4 by 5 t raha gaya. That means you are removing 1 by 5 part of the total solution. So that means this 9 liter that you are taking out is basically 1 by 5 of the total solution. So total ka 1 by 5 is equal to 9 liter aya. So can I say total will be equal to 45 liter? And that's the correct answer to the question. You don't need any equation to answer this. This is a very simple and easy question. Ekhi Step ki under up question ko solve kar sakte ho. Jis bache ne mixture solution ka basics pada hua hai, wo isko aisi karega ki yar do bar operation kiya multiplying factor 16 by 25 ka. To ek bar karne ka multiplying factor iska square root 4 by 5. Now ye multiplying factor dalne ka matlab hai ki aapne total ka 1 by 5 bahar kiya. So that means ye jo 9 liter hai, ye total container ka 1 by 5 hai. So total 45 liter. This is how you are supposed to solve the question in exam, and you can solve it under one minute, right? If you know the basics, right? So basics, if you are strong, then you can do the question very easily. Here is the next question of percentage. A box has 450 balls. 
each either white or black there being as many metal, white metallic white ball as metallic black balls okay so again first understand the question i guess aap question ko samajh jaise jaise note down karoge answer aapka automatically aa jayega uh now 450 may say right the type of balls are either white or you have black balls right now the further category of white and black ball is right they are metallic and non metallic right non metallic or metallic so black ball may be non metallic ho sakta hai aur metallic bhi ho sakta hai aur question says as many metallic white ball as metallic black ball so number of metallic balls jitni hongi and utni hi metallic black balls hongi 40% of the white balls and 50% of the black balls are metallic so guys this straight away tell you white ka total 40% is metallic and black ka 50% is metallic and because both of these two numbers are same this will give me the ratio between white and black balls now this tells me ki white ka 40% value is same as is same as black ka 50% value now this tells me ki white or black ball mein jo ratio aayega number of balls ka that is 5 ratio 4 right so aapne total 450 ko 5 ratio 4 mein divide karna hai so you will get white and black balls so 450 ko 5 ratio 4 mein divide karoge so you see that white ball jo aayenge that will be 250 are you do that see that white balls are 5 then black balls are 4 total are 9 if total is 450 which is 50 times so white will be 250 and black will be 200 right now white is 250 and black balls are 200 easy now we are supposed to find out the number of non metallic ball in the box number of non metallic ball in the box non metallic ball whether it's white or black so 250 ka 40% is metallic so can i say 60% will be non metallic 250 ka 60% is 150 Fifty percent is metallic, so non black ka non metallic would be one hundred. So total number of non metallic balls one fifty white, hundred black. So total answer will be two fifty. A simple easiest question, right? You could have done it without making any equation if you simply use the concept of ratio. Here is the next question, guys. Easiest one, right? Ah, uh, is basically look like a question of simple interest. The question simple interest compound is ka dikh raha. But actually, man, this is based on the concept of percentage. See this: Raj invested ten thousand rupees in a fund. At the end of the year, he incurred a loss, but his balance was more than rupees five thousand. Okay, so ten thousand rupees, he invested in a fund. Me deposit kiya. After one year, first year ke baad, he had a loss. That means his investment decreased. Hua hoga. But his balance was more than five thousand. Jo final balance bacha, that is more than five thousand. So can I say if it is more than five thousand, so the decrement laga hoga that must be less than fifty percent. So if fifty percent se zada ka loss hoga, to ye balance fifty thousand se ye five thousand se kam ho jayega. So the loss hua wo fifty percent se kam hua. So this balance, abhi ye jo balance bana, now this balance has been invested for another year, grew, and the percentage of growth in the second year was five times the percentage of loss in the first year. सो फर्स्ट ईयर में जो एक्स परसेंटेज का लॉस हो रहा है राइट उसका फाइव टाइम्स नेक्स्ट ईयर में ग्रोथ हो रहा है फाइव एक्स परसेंट से ग्रोथ हो रहा है राइट द गेन ऑफ राज फ्रॉम द इनिशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट ओवर द टू ईयर पीरियड इज थर्टी फाइव परसेंट ओवरऑल दो साल में ये एक्स परसेंट का लॉस एंड फाइव एक्स परसेंट का गेन इज गिविंग हिम ए टोटल प्रॉफिट ऑफ थर्टी फाइव परसेंट मतलब थर्टी फाइव परसेंट उसका इन्वेस्टमेंट इंक्रीज हुआ देन द परसेंटेज ऑफ लॉस इन द फर्स्ट ईयर बेसिकली मेरे को एक्स का वैल्यू निकालना है I know that ki x is less than 50, तो ये वाला ऑप्शन स्ट्रेट ऑफ एलिमिनेट हो जाता है राइट ना इस सिंपल आपको इसमें कुछ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन बनाने की जरूरत नहीं है आई एम श्योर ये बेसिकली सक्सेसिव डिक्रीमेंट का सक्सेसिव परसेंटेज चेंज का क्वेश्चन है जो परसेंटेज की फर्स्ट और सेकेंड सेशन में आप लोग पढ़ते हो अगर आपने अच्छी जगह से क्लासेस लगाई है राइट ढंग की क्लासेज अगर आपने लगाई है तो फर्स्ट और सेकेंड क्लास में सक्सेसिव परसेंटेज का कॉन्सेप्ट एक्सप्लेन किया जाता है राइट जनरली फॉर्मूला से लोग एक्सप्लेन करते हैं काफी एजुकेटेड बट थिंग इज ये मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर से अगर आप क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करने का ट्राई करोगे तो आपको क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन नहीं बनाना पड़ेगा एक्स परसेंट का लॉस एंड फाइव एक्स परसेंट का गेन इज फाइनली गिविंग मी गेन ऑफ थर्टी फाइव परसेंट आपको सिर्फ ये देखना है मेरा इनिशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट थर्टी फाइव परसेंट से बढ़ रहा है फाइनली दो परसेंटेज चेंजेस के बाद 
the multiplying factor that I am getting is 1.35. Why? Kisi value ko 35% se increase karna means you are supposed to take 135% of that value. Now, there is a loss of x percent here and there is a gain of 5x percent here. X percent ka loss and 5x percent ka gain finally mere ko 1.35 ka multiplying factor dena chahiye. Now, agar loss hota hai, to humara multiplying factor 100 se chota aega aur gain hota hai, to humara multiplying factor 100 se bada aega. That's a basic concept jo har bachche ko pata hona chahiye agar percentage increment decrement ka basic concept aapko aata hai. Now you see that ये दोनों के multiplying factor इसका multiplying factor ये multiplying factor multiply होके मेरे को final 1.35 देना चाहिए. All you need to do is use your number skills now and that's the reason numbers are very important और आपको पहला topic सबसे पहले cat में number system ही करना चाहिए. 135 के वो दो factor जो एक hundred से छोटा हो और एक right और decimal में convert करोगे तो ten से छोटा हो और एक ten से बड़ा. या hundred से छोटा और hundred से बड़ा. That is in terms of percentage and you can clearly see अगर आपको numbers का थोड़ा भी basic knowledge है तो आपको idea लगेगा कि 0.9 into 1.5 is such things right कि अगर 0.9 यहाँ पे रखो जो कि 100 0.9 means 90 percent और 1.5 means 150 percent मतलब ये 90 percent 100 से छोटा हुआ one से कम का multiplying factor you can say अगर मेरे को ये तो परसेंटेज में लिखोगे तो 100 से कम डेसिमल्स में लिखोगे तो ये मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर 1 से छोटा होना चाहिए और ये मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर 1 से बड़ा होना चाहिए सो so, 0.9 एंड 1.5 का कॉम्बिनेशन आपके माइंड में स्ट्राइक करना चाहिए ऑन स्पॉट इतना कंफर्टेबिलिटी आपका नंबर्स के साथ होना चाहिए राइट right? कि 135 को दो नंबर से मल्टीप्लाई करना इट हैज टू बी 0.9 एंड 1.5 नाउ यू सी दैट जब मैं 0.9 से किसी वैल्यू को मल्टीप्लाई कर रहा हूं दैट मींस आई एम डिक्रीजिंग द वैल्यू बाय 10% you are taking 90% or something, you are decreasing it by 10%. You are taking 150% or something, that means you are increasing it by 50%. All you have to check now, कि क्या ये value इसका 5 times है? Yes, as per the condition of the question. That means यही multiplying factor आएंगे. So, ये multiplying factor के लिए पहले value को 10% से decrease करना पड़ेगा और फिर 50% से increase करना पड़ेगा. हमें x का value चाहिए, answer is third option. Let's say that, कि आपको exam में ये factor strike नहीं करते. तो फिर options use कर सकते हो. Right, you can use the option and see that which option will be final multiplying factor 1.35. Check it, 15% decrement multiplying factor will be 0.85. And then 15 times 5 times 75 multiplying factor will be 1.75. Can these two multiply and 1.35 become? No. Similarly, if you check it, the multiplying first 5% decrement will be 0.95. और फिर 25 percent का increment तो 1.25 क्या ये दोनों multiply होके 1.35 बन सकते हैं नहीं ये तो वैसे नहीं answer है because 50 percent से कम का value लेना है तो then you are left with third option you can check it I guess 10 20 second में आपको question का answer आ जाएगा okay here is the next question number four a person buy teas of three different qualities at 800 500 and rupees 300 per kg respectively and the amount bought are in the proportion of two ratio three ratio five she mixes all the tea and sells one sixth of the mixture at 700 rupees per kg. The price in INR per kg at which she should sell the remaining tea to make an overall profit of 50%. Very simple, weighted average ka standard, basic, easiest question. Look, 800, 500, 300 ko, first of all, you have combined 2 ratio, 3 ratio, 5 mein kya, to aapko sabse pehle iska weighted cost nikalna ana chahi, what will be the overall cost? 2 ratio, 3 ratio, 5 mein you are combining these values, right? So guys, if I, abhi 2 ratio, 3 ratio, matlab 800 ke 2 units, 500 wale T ka 3 units, or 300 per kg wale ke 5 units aapne liye. So what I do is, I'll balance the value at 500. Iska weighted average nikalna hai aapko, 500 pe value ko balance kar lo. Ye 800, 500 se 300 zada hai, 300 2 unit pe to 600 ka extra price. प्लस ये तो 500 पे रखा हमने और ये 300 500 से 200 कम है 200 कम है 5 केजी के ऊपर सो दैट इज माइनस 1000 ओवर 532 प्लस 810 सो ये आपको देगा 500 माइनस राइट ये माइनस आएगा 600 माइनस 1000 वुड बी माइनस 400 अपॉन 10 सो दैट मींस 800 500 300 की थ्री टाइप्स को 235 में कंबाइन करने पे जो आपका फाइनल वेटेड कोस्ट आएगा, वेटेड एवरेज कोस्ट जो आएगा, दैट विल बी इक्वल टू 460, राइट? 460 इज़ माय कोस्ट प्राइस, राइट? इस 460 पे मेरे को 50 परसेंट का प्रॉफिट चाहिए। व्हाट आई नीड इज़ टू आर्न अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ़ 50 परसेंट। वेरी सिंपल नाउ। 
सो फोर सिक्सटी मेरा इन्वेस्टमेंट है पर के जी का राइट पर के जी माई इन्वेस्टमेंट इज फोर सिक्सटी आई वॉन्ट टू अर्न अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ वन पॉइंट फाइव राइट मतलब फिफ्टी परसेंट पर प्रॉफिट जा रहा है मेरे को तो मेरा सेलिंग प्राइस इसका वन पॉइंट फाइव टाइम्स होना चाहिए जस्ट मल्टीप्लाइड यू विल सी दैट दिस इज फिफ्टीन टू सिक्स नाइनटी जीरो नाइन सो मेरा फाइनल सेलिंग प्राइस सिक्स नाइन्टी आना चाहिए राइट फाइनल सेलिंग प्राइस शुड बी इक्वल टू सिक्स नाइन्टी ना क्वेश्चन में दिया हुआ है कि वन सिक्स ऑफ द मिक्सर आपने पूरे वन सिक्स मिक्सर को सेवन हंड्रेड रुपीज पर के जी पे बेचा राइट right. रिमेनिंग कितने पे बेचना चाहिए रिमेनिंग जो होगा वो फाइव सिक्स हो जाएगा सो दैट ओवरऑल मेरे को सिक्स नाइन्टी आए राइट सो दैट मीन्स ये जो दोनों प्राइजेज मिक्स कर रहे हो आप सेलिंग प्राइजेज वो वन रेशो फाइव में कंबाइन हो रहा है सो इसी दैट एक यूनिट के वो दैट मीन्स इसके वन यूनिट के सामने आपके पास यहाँ पे फाइव यूनिट्स पड़े हैं यू सी दैट यहाँ पे जो गेन हो रहा है यहाँ पे जो लॉस हो रहा है दैट इज इक्वल टू एक यूनिट पे यहाँ पे जो लॉस हो रहा है दैट इज टेन यूनिट का तो यहाँ पे ये टेन यूनिट्स का गेन होना पड़ेगा फाइव यूनिट्स के ऊपर तो हर यूनिट में जो गेन आना चाहिए वो टू यूनिट्स का आना चाहिए दैट मीन्स यहाँ पे वो प्राइस रखना है मेरे को जो इसको टू से इंक्रीज करने के बाद वैल्यू सिक्स नाइन्टी बने तो दैट प्राइस वुड बी सिक्स एटी एट राइट सो आंसर इज सेकेंड ऑप्शन सिंपल ईजी थोड़ा न्यू टेक्निक है बट आई लेकिन इक्वल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन क्या बच्चे जनरली इस क्वेश्चन को एलिगेशन से इक्वेशन बना के करते हैं बट आप वेटेड एवरेज में इक्वल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन के कॉन्सेप्ट को अगर आप का आपको बेसिक आइडिया तो ये क्वेश्चन आप मेंटली भी बहुत इजीली ये पॉइंट पे पहुंचने के बाद सॉल्व कर सकते हो मेरे बच्चों ने जो क्लासेस लगाई हैं खुद की मैंने चैनल पे भी वेटेड एवरेज का वीडियो डाला इक्वल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन का यू कैन लुक लुक एट दैट वीडियो राइट सो जिन बच्चों ने मेरा क्लासेज लगाया हुआ उन बच्चों को एग्जैक्ट समझ में आ रहा होगा कि क्या चल रहा है जिनको नहीं आ रहा है वो वेटेड एवरेज का सेशन वीडियो पे चैनल पर देख सकते हैं और आई गेस इसमें भी आपको समझ आना चाहिए बेसिक वेटेड एवरेज का एप्लीकेशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन है फॉर्मूला से काम नहीं चलेगा फॉर्मूला से हो जाएगा बट अगेन लेंदी कैलकुलेशन होगा नेक्स्ट इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव सी दैट सर अगेन एन इजी क्वेश्चन ऑन परसेंटेज अनिल बोबी एंड चिंटू ज्वाइंटली इन्वेस्ट इन बिजनेस एंड एग्री टू शेयर द ओवरऑल प्रॉफिट इन प्रोपोर्शन टू इन्वेस्टमेंट अनिल शेयर ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट इज सेवेंटी परसेंट ओके अनिल का जो इन्वेस्टमेंट है वो सेवेंटी परसेंट का इन्वेस्टमेंट है सो द स्टैंडर्ड रूल ऑफ पार्टनरशिप इज दिस जितना पैसा आप इन्वेस्ट करोगे बिजनेस में उसके उस परसेंटेज शेयर पे ही आपका प्रॉफिट डिसाइड होगा दैट मीन्स प्रॉफिट शेयरिंग एंड द इन्वेस्टमेंट शेयरिंग आर डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शन टू इच अदर जितना इन्वेस्टमेंट जितना परसेंटेज बिजनेस में आपने कैपिटल डाला उतने ही परसेंटेज आपको प्रॉफिट का हिस्सा मिलेगा अगर टाइम फैक्टर नहीं है कंसिडरेशन में तो पूरे क्वेश्चन में टाइम की कहीं बात नहीं हो रही है सो दैट मीन्स कैपिटल इन्वेस्टमेंट विल डिसाइड द ओवरऑल प्रॉफिट परसेंटेज सो अनिल का सेवेंटी परसेंट इन्वेस्टमेंट है तो उसको प्रॉफिट का भी सेवेंटी परसेंट मिलना चाहिए द क्वेश्चन सेज हिज शेयर ऑफ प्रॉफिट डिक्रीज इज बाई रुपीज फोर ट्वेंटी इफ द ओवरऑल प्रॉफिट गोज डाउन फ्रॉम एटीन परसेंट टू फिफ्टीन परसेंट सो गाइज टोटल प्रॉफिट का एटीन परसेंट से फिफ्टीन परसेंट प्रॉफिट अगर डाउन होता है तो कैन आई से कि जो प्रॉफिट में चेंज होगा राइट right, वो टोटल के थ्री परसेंटेज पे जाएगा कैन आई से दैट कि एटीन परसेंट पहले इन्वेस्टमेंट का राइट इफ द प्रॉफिट गोज डाउन फ्रॉम एटीन परसेंट मतलब पहले आपको इन्वेस्टमेंट का एटीन परसेंट प्रॉफिट हो रहा है बट नाउ यू आर अर्निंग फिफ्टीन परसेंट सो दैट मीन्स आपका टोटल इन्वेस्टमेंट का थ्री परसेंटेज प्रॉफिट डाउन हुआ सो जो प्रॉफिट डाउन हुआ उसमें ए का जो शेयर था वो सेवेंटी परसेंट था तो अगर पूरा प्रॉफिट डाउन हुआ तो ए टोटल प्रॉफिट जो डाउन हुआ उसका सेवेंटी परसेंट ए का डाउन होगा and that value is given to me as 420. That means the total टोटल इन्वेस्टमेंट अभी जो प्रॉफिट है एटीन टोटल इन्वेस्टमेंट का एटीन परसेंट प्रॉफिट था ना टोटल का फिफ्टीन परसेंट प्रॉफिट तो डिक्रीमेंट इन प्रॉफिट इज टोटल इन्वेस्टमेंट का थ्री परसेंट उसमें से ए के हिस्से में सेवेंटी परसेंट एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू फोर ट्वेंटी सो दिस विल गिव मी की टोटल जो इन्वेस्टमेंट होगी दैट विल बी टू फॉलोड बाई फोर जीरो दैट इज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड दैट्स द टोटल इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ ऑल दीज थ्री पीपल राइट The third person into share of profit increases by rupees eighty. The overall profit go, goes up from fifteen to seventeen. अभी ये investment है. अभी fifteen percent से total investment के fifteen percent की बजाय अभी आपको seventeen percent profit हो रहा है. That means आपको two percent extra profit मिला. 
सो ये टू परसेंट का एक्स्ट्रा प्रॉफिट जो मिला दैट्स एन एक्स्ट्रा प्रॉफिट दैट ऑल थ्री आर अर्निंग इसमें दिस पर्सन चिंटू के हिस्से में जो जाएगा वो डिपेंड करेगा चिंटू का शेयर कितना चिंटू का इन्वेस्टमेंट शेयर वुड लेट से बी इक्वल टू एक्स परसेंट एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू नाउ एटी तो जितना चिंटू का इन्वेस्टमेंट होगा दैट विल टेल मी दैट विल टेल मी कि इंक्रीज प्रॉफिट में कितना चिंटू के हिस्से में जाएगा तो ये मेरा इंक्रीज प्रॉफिट है इसका एक्स परसेंट विल बी इक्वल टू एटी वो जा रहा है एटी तो डिपेंड तो इसकी इन्वेस्टमेंट पे करेगा राइट सो यू सी दैट एक्स की जो वैल्यू आएगी दैट वुड बी इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट दैट मीन्स ये एक्स का वैल्यू ट्वेंटी परसेंट आया था तो सेवेंटी परसेंट इन्वेस्टमेंट एक का था चिंटू का इन्वेस्टमेंट टेन परसेंट तो बचा बॉबी बॉबी मॉस भी इन्वेस्टिंग टेन परसेंट तो बॉबी का इन्वेस्टमेंट टेन परसेंट है टोटल का टोटल बीस हजार है तो टेन परसेंट ऑफ दैट इज टू थाउजेंड दैट इज इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ बॉबी अ सिंपल इजी क्वेश्चन टू स्टेप्स एंड आंसर इज योर्स राइट अ बेसिक क्वेश्चन Moving ahead to the next question number six now. Okay, in a football tournament, a player has fixed played a certain number of matches, and ten more matches are to be played. If he scores a total of one goal over the next ten match, his overall average will be zero point one five goals per match. Okay, so guys, again a simple question of replacement. There's certain n number of matches that the person has already played. Total number, right? Now, if a player has played played a certain number of matches, and I have considered a certain number of matches as n, and ten more matches. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, in these ten matches, right? In these ten matches, uh, his overall average will be zero point one five goal per. If he score a total of one goal over the next one match, so ye ten matches me usne one goal kia. तो उसका एवरेज इज 0.15. पॉइंट वन फाइव नाउ द क्वेश्चन सेज ऑन द अदर हैंड ये 10 मैचेस में वन की बजाय अगर उसने टू गोल्स किए होते देन द एवरेज वुड हैव बीन 0.2. पॉइंट टू सो वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन कि वन गोल की बजाय अगर टोटल नंबर ऑफ गोल्स आर गोइंग अप बाय वन वन का इंक्रीमेंट हुआ वैल्यू में तो एवरेज में जो इंक्रीमेंट हो रहा है एवरेज में जो इंक्रीमेंट हो रहा है दैट इज जीरो 05 का सो जो टोटल नंबर ऑफ मैचेस होंगे वो वन दैट मींस अभी इट्स लाइक कि आपको पांच पांच पैसे देने हैं और टोटल एक रुपया देना है तो कितने लोगों में डिस्ट्रीब्यूट होगा यू आर सपोज टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट वन रुपीज इन टोटल एंड एवरी टू एवरीबडी आर गिविंग फाइव पैसा तो ट्वेंटी पर्सन में डिस्ट्रीब्यूट होगा वन डिवाइड बाई पॉइंट जीरो फाइव इज ट्वेंटी दैट मीन्स ये दस मैच को इंक्लूड करें तो टोटल नंबर ऑफ मैचेज जो बनेंगे दैट विल बी ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन में क्या पूछा नंबर ऑफ मैचेस ही हैज प्लेड नंबर ऑफ मैचेस ही हैज प्लेड इज एन जो ऑलरेडी वो खेल चुका है सो अगर ये दस है तो एन का वैल्यू विल बी टेन राइट नो नीड टू मेक इक्वेशन हेयर सिंपल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रिप्लेसमेंट वन सिंगल लाइन में आप क्वेश्चन का आंसर कर सकते हो सेवन नंबर क्वेश्चन अनिल कैन पेंट अ हाउस इन सिक्सटी डेज वेल बीमल कैन पेंट अ हाउस इन एटी फोर अनिल स्टार्ट पेंटिंग and after 10 days bimal and charu join him together they complete the painting in 14 more days they paid a total of 21000 rupees for the job then share of charu and theek hai bahut simple question weighted average uh, no not just not a weighted average time and work ka question right so just understand the statement first anil can paint a house in 60 days bimal can paint it in 84 days so anil can do a piece of work in 60 days and bimal can do the same piece of work in 84 days anil start painting and after 10 days so what you need to do is first just understand a number which is a multiple of 60 and 84 both right so let's decide a number let's decide a number 60 और 84 का जो नंबर होगा 12 into, ये भी 12 का मल्टीपल है ये 5 12 into 5 12 into 7 so 420 i guess right so let's say ki 420 units ka mera work hai let's say 420 units ka work hai to one day mein anil will be doing total seven units and in one day bimal will be doing five units right Now together they complete the painting in fourteen more days. Now okay, Anil started painting and after ten days Bimal and Charu join him together. Okay, 
and he'll start painting okay so guys initially for 10 days anil is doing the painting right सो अनिल लेट से कि पेंटिंग का जो टोटल वर्क है वो हमने 420 ट्वेंटी यूनिट्स के एक मान लिया अगर पूरा पेंटिंग करना है तो 420 ट्वेंटी यूनिट्स काम करना है सीधा पंडा राइट सो वन डे में ये सेवन यूनिट्स काम करेगा जब 420 ट्वेंटी यूनिट्स हो जाएंगे तो पूरा पेंटिंग कंप्लीट हो जाएगा सो टेन डेज में अनिल इज डूइंग सेवन यूनिट्स तो टेन पर डे सेवन यूनिट्स अनिल टेन डेज में सेवनटी यूनिट्स का वर्क करेगा राइट सो अनिल विल बी डन विद सेवनटी यूनिट्स ऑफ वर्क राइट Now Bimal and Charu join him together. So, again, and they complete the painting in fourteen more days. So, fourteen days or lagay painting ko complete karne me, jisme Anil, Bimal and Charu tino kam karne. Now we know that Anil or Bimal jo milke kam karenge fourteen days ke andar. Wo seven plus five twelve unit. Twelve into fourteen. Twelve into fourteen would be how much? Fourteen ko twelve se multiply karo. Twelve into four forty eight. वन सिक्सटी एट राइट सो अनिल और बीमल मिलके दोनों वन सिक्सटी एट यूनिट काम करेंगे टोटल पेंडिंग वर्क जो है दैट इज फोर ट्वेंटी माइनस सेवनटी वो साढ़े तीन सौ यूनिट का वर्क पेंडिंग है उसमें से अनिल और बीमल ने फोर्टीन डेज में वन सिक्सटी एट यूनिट्स काम किया सो टेन माइनस एट टू फोर्टीन माइनस सिक्स एट टू माइनस वन That means C alone has done one eighty two units of the work in fourteen days, right? Fourteen total units of four twenty seventy finish. Okay, बचे साढे तीन सौ साढे तीन सौ में A और B में one sixty eight हुआ तो बाकी जो बचा C का that is one eighty two. Now C is doing one eighty two units in fourteen days. तो एक दिन में C ने thirteen unit काम किया होगा. सो वन डे में ये सेवन कर रहा है ये फाइव कर रहा है और वन डे में चारू जो है वो थर्टीन यूनिट्स काम कर रहा है नाउ वी आर सपोज टू फाइंड आउट द पेड टोटल ऑफ टोटल इनको इक्कीस हजार रुपए मिले देन द शेयर ऑफ चारू इन एनआर प्रोपोर्शन टू द वर्क डन बाय सो वी नो दैट कि जो पैसे मिलेंगे वो यूनिट्स पर डिपेंड करेगा जो ज्यादा काम करेगा उसको ज्यादा पैसा सो द डे यूनिट्स रेशियो विल डिसाइड कि किस रेशियो में पैसे का वेजिस का डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन होना है वेजीज टोटल है ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड उसमें से सी के हिस्से में जो आना चाहिए वो थर्टीन का पार्ट आना चाहिए थर्टीन आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव सो थर्टीन टोटल ट्वेंटी फाइव रुपीज अगर मिल रहा है तो उसमें से सी को थर्टीन टोटल ट्वेंटी फाइव क्यू सेवन ये कर रहा है फाइव ये और थर्टीन ये ट्वेंटी फाइव यूनिट में थर्टीन यूनिट काम कर रहा है तो इक्कीस हजार रुपए में उसको इसी रेशियो के हिसाब से पैसा मिलेगा राइट दैट विल बी इक्वल टू हाउ मच ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू एट 210, 20, 840 पे कैंसिल हो जाएगा वैल्यू राइट जीरो दस राइट दैट्स परफेक्टली फाइन सो कितना आया 13 इंटू जीरो थर्टीन इंटू फोर फिफ्टी टू ओके I guess there is some calculation error that we are doing. Let's do it again. Thirteen out of twenty-five and total page wages paid is twenty-one thousand. Okay, no, 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 right. So if this is how they are supposed to do the work, right, right, no, that's wrong. We don't need to find out that we don't need to find out one day work of unit. See that out of total, out of total units, right? C is doing one eighty-two units, right? So C would be paid for one eighty-two units. Right out of total four twenty units, C will be paid for one eighty two. Right, so this is the ratio in which C will be getting the money, and total money is twenty one thousand rupees for four twenty. So, अपने को ये देखना है कि C का one eighty two units में कितना पैसा उसे मिलेगा. Right, now this will get cancelled on two five fifty. So five into two zero. Right, ninety one hundred rupees. One eighty two into fifty ninety one hundred rupees will be given to Charu. Right. सो पर डे ऐसा नहीं है कि वो सारे इक्वल डेज पे काम नहीं कर रहे अगर सब ने इक्वल डेज पे काम किया होता तो 13 बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव के हिसाब से पैसा मिलता बट सी इज ओनली वर्किंग फॉर द लास्ट फोर्टीन डेज जिसमें उसने 182 एटी टू यूनिट्स किया सो आउट ऑफ फोर ट्वेंटी वन एटी टू यूनिट्स किया टू ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड में इस रेशियो में पैसे को डिस्ट्रीब्यूट कर दो सो गाइज हे इज अ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर एट ऑफ टाइम एंड वर्क It says two pipes A and B are attached to an empty water tank. Pipe A fills the tank while pipe B drains it. 
pipe A is opened at 2 p.m. and pipe B is opened at 3 p.m. The tank become full at 10 p.m. Okay. So guys, again, this is an easy question of time and work. All you need to do is just understand the basic statement here. Pipe A is that pipe which is filling the tank and pipe B is that pipe which is draining the tank. Right. Now, if this pipe is opened at 2 p.m., and this pipe is opened at 3 p.m. The tank gets filled at 10 p.m. So guys, you just need to make a basic equation to understand the amount of water that is coming from this tap as well as the amount of water that is going out from this tap. If I say that, if I say that X liter per hour is the capacity of this pipe to th throw the water right inside the tank and let's say that capacity of this tap is to take out y liter per hour from the tank outside now because the tank is getting filled at 10 pm now from 2 pm to 10 pm is 8 hours that means for 8 hour water is coming inside the tank at a speed of x liter per hour so it would be 8x and for 7 hours, water is going outside of the tank at a speed of y liter per hour. So, 7y is the water that will be going out. And now the tank is getting filled at 10 p.m. So, can I say that this much water has been, has gone inside the tank? So, the tank ke andar jo water finally jo fill hoga, that would be 8x minus 7y. So, can I say that the tank ka capacity would be 8x minus 7y? In the second case, it says, suppose pipe A is opened at 2 and pipe B is open at 4. Aap isko 2 p.m. open kar rahe ho, but instead of opening it at 3 p.m., now you are opening it at 4 p.m. Now in this case, in this case, the tank gets filled at 6 p.m. In this case, mein tank jo fill ho hai, wo 6 p.m. Pe fill ho hai, right? The tank is getting filled at 6 p.m. So from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., Water is going inside the tank. That means, kitna time ke liye pani gaya? That is 4x water is going inside the tank. And from 4 pm to 6 pm, 2 ghande ke liye pani tap se bahar gaya. That means, for 2y, the, the amount of water that is going outside the tank is 2y. So, 4x minus 2y is a final water which is going inside the tank. Itna pani finally tank pe gaya, tank gets filled. Now, this is the capacity of the vessel as well as this is the capacity of the vessel so we can equate it, right? So, 8x minus 7y is a water that is going inside the tank and filling the tank in the first case. 4x minus 2y is a water which is going inside the tank in the second case and the tank is getting filled. So, this capacity is supposed to same as this capacity. So, can you see this now? 4x will be equal to 5y. Now, this gives you a direct relationship between x and y. x upon y becomes equal to 5 by 4. That means, if this tank se agar 5 liter per hour pani aega, to ye tap se 4 liter per hour ki speed se pani bahar jayega. And tank me itna pani, 8 hours tak pani aega 40 liter, 8 into 5, 40. Or 7 hours me jo pani bahar jayega, that would be 28 liter. So, can I say, can I say 20 liter is the whole capacity of the tank? The pura jo tank hoga wo 12 liter ka hoga. So, ye 12 liter ka tank, if we have to fill, if it, if it has to be filled by A. Why? Because it says, agar pipe B ko open nahi karte. If pipe B is not opened at all, then the time in minutes taken to fill the tank is. So, 12 liter ka tank, 5 liter per hour ki speed se. Per hour hai, minute mein convert karne ke liye 60 se multiply karo. The tank will get filled in 144 hours, right? Third option, 144 minutes. So, third option is question ka correct answer. Very easy, simple question. Time, speed, distance. This was free marks for everybody. But the question ko padte padte yaap answer kar sakte ho. Itna easy question hai. Two trains A and B were moving in opposite direction. Their speed being in the ratio 5, ratio 3. They could, do trains hai, and they are supposed to Cross each other. They are moving in the opposite direction, right? The speed being in the ratio 5 ratio 3. That means this train ka speed other 5 hoga, to this train ka speed would be 3. 5 and 3 are the speed ratio. 
the front end of A crosses the rear end of B. Rear end of B in forty forty six seconds after the front ends of train A had cross train had cross each other. दोनों ट्रेन का फ्रंट एंड एक दूसरे को जब क्रॉस करेगा वो क्रॉस करने के बाद ये वाला एंड राइट दिस ट्रेन का एंड इसके रियर एंड को 46 सिक्स सेकेंड्स में क्रॉस कर रहा है दैट मीन्स फ्रॉम दिस पोजीशन टू द पोजीशन वेयर दिस ट्रेन इज क्रॉसिंग द रियर एंड ऑफ दिस ट्रेन नाउ यू सी दैट ये ट्रेन को लेट से दैट दिस इज अंथ ऑफ द ट्रेन ए एंड दिस इज अंथ ऑफ द ट्रेन बी ये ट्रेन को इस ट्रेन के रियर एंड पे पहुंचने के लिए जो डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल करना होगा दैट वुड बी एल बी नाउ वंस दिस ट्रेन हैज रीच द रियर एंड ऑफ दिस ट्रेन देन इट सेज इट टूक्स अनदर 60 सेकेंड्स फॉर द रियर एंड ऑफ द ट्रेन टू क्रॉस इज अनदर 69 नाइन सेकेंड दैट मीन्स वंस दिस एंड हैज रीच दिस एंड देन टू क्रॉस ईच अदर ट्रेन राइट दोनों ट्रेन का रियर एंड एक दूसरे को क्रॉस करने के लिए अनदर सिक्सटी नाइन सेकेंड ले रहा है नाउ वंस द ट्रेन वंस दिस ट्रेन हैज क्रॉस दिस रियर एंड ऑफ दिस ट्रेन द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल विल बी एल बी एंड फ्रॉम दैट पॉइंट ऑनवर्ड दोनों ट्रेन को कंप्लीटली एक दूसरे को क्रॉस करना है तो बाकी का जो डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड होगा दैट वुड बी एल टाइम्स ऑफ ए राइट Now you see that this speed say now whatever is the speed speed ratio does not make any difference in our answer why because L B this distance this speed say cover hoga that would be the summation of both of these two speeds both are moving in the opposite direction and L A ka jo distance travel hoga wo bhi same speed se hi hoga at that point also both trains are running in the opposite direction now you should know that if speed is kept as constant then the distance ratio would be same as time ratio. and time ratio is given to me as 46 and 69 lb ko distance travel karne mein 46 second laga la ka distance travel karne mein 69 second laga so can i say distance ka ratio time ka ratio jo hoga wo same hoga so can i say that lb and la ratio is 2 ratio 3 hame train a aur train b ka ratio bata raha hai so la upon lb will be equal to 3 upon 2 Hence, the answer to the question is option number four. Option four will be the answer to the question. Now, moving ahead to the next one, question number ten. It's a number system question, right? For a four-digit number. So, guys, nine questions came from arithmetic. जो अभी तक हमने questions किए और उनका level of difficulty आप देख सकते हो कोई भी question एक certain level of difficulty को cross नहीं कर रहा है. सिर्फ basics पे ही आपसे questions पूछे जा रहे हैं. For a four-digit number, the sum of digits in the thousand, hundred, and ten place is fourteen. Okay. Question बोला है कि four-digit number का thousand, hundred, tens place digits का summation is fourteen. ये three digits का summation fourteen दिया हुआ है. And unit and hundred, tens, and unit place summation in three digits का जो summation दिया that is equal to fifteen. Now you see that. Now you see that. ये नंबर को ये नंबर से रिप्लेस करने पे सबमिशन में वन का इंक्रीमेंट हो रहा है सो कैन आई से दैट इफ माय यूनिट डिजिट इज वन दैट लास्ट टेंस प्लेस डिजिट हैज टू बी ए प्लस वन व्हाई बिकॉज टोटल सबमिशन इज गेटिंग इंक्रीज बाय वन राइट वेरी सिंपल ये रिलेशन आपको स्ट्रेट अवे दिख जाना चाहिए टेंस प्लेस डिजिट इज फोर मोर देन दूनिट प्लेस डिजिट तो टेंस प्लेस का जो डिजिट है वो इससे फोर ज्यादा है दैट इज ए प्लस फाइव हो जाएगा then the highest possible four digit number satisfying the above condition as a four digit ka bade se bada number apne ko banana hai right now you see that if i want this number to be as large as possible to mere ko sabse pehle tens place ke digit ko bada karna padega i need to make it as maximum as possible now you see that this number a at max you see that a me 5 add karne pe mera 100 tens place ka digit banna chahiye so the maximum value a can take is 4 why agar aapne 5 put kiya to 5 plus 5 10 hoga ye single digit 10 nahi ho sakta is right so because this maximum can be 9 so therefore the maximum value of a can be 4 aur number ko large karne ke liye sabse pehle aap 1000 number wala digit hi dekhoge so a is 4 this automatically become 9 so this automatically will become 5 right Is it done? Okay. 
Now we are supposed to find out, okay, and because it is given to us that summation of these three digits is 14 and summation of these three digits is 15, so the only possibility for this number is to be 1, right? So the largest number that satisfies all these conditions is 4195. It's a simple, right? Basic. Kuch, kuch bhi nahi Next question again from P and C, you can say that. Number is number of ways or combination of number system and PNC. Number of ways of distributing 15 identical balloons, 6 identical pencils, and 3 identical erasers among 3 children. So, which are 3 C1, C2, C3. Ye tino mein, aapko 15 identical balloons, 6 identical pencils, 3 identical erasers ko distribute karna hai, such that. Her bache ko at least four balloon milna chahiye. That means four balloon has to be given to children one, four balloon to children two, four balloon to children three. Six identical pencil may say at least everybody must be getting one pencil, right? One pencil here, one pencil here, one pencil here. So after distributing these 12 balloons and three pencils, I will be left with 15 minus 12. That means three balloons, right? And out of six identical pencil and distributing three pencils, I'll be left with three more pencils. And we are left with three erasers now, right? Okay. So guys, in how many ways three balloons can be distributed over three children? Right. So guys, I have three identical balloons and I'm supposed to distribute it among three children, right? So divide it into three parts. Three balloons go Three parts may divide करने के लिए मेरे को दो आ, आ, दो बार इसको कट करना पड़ेगा. Now you see that दो बार two bars will distribute three balloons in three parts. One part, two part, three part. मतलब पहले बच्चे को एक, दूसरे बच्चे को एक, तीसरे बच्चे को भी एक. Now if I arrange these these values among themselves, तो this will give me the total number of ways of distributing the balloons over three children, right? So in how many ways you can arrange it? Three factorial. Three identical balloons and two identical bars. Three factorial upon two factorial. Sorry. This can be done is five factorial divided by three identical balloons are three factorial and two identical bars will be two factorial, right? Okay. So this is equivalent to this is equivalent to 10. So three identical balloons can be distributed over three children in 10 ways, right? Similarly, Three identical pencils can also be distributed over three children in 10 ways. And similarly, three erasers over three children can also be distributed in 10 ways. So total number of ways will be 1000. That would be the correct answer to the question, right? So three balloons, three erasers and three, uh, three pencils, three balloons, three pencils, three erasers ko distribute karna hai. So 10 ways, 10 ways, 10 ways, total number of ways will be 10 into 10 into 10,000. Basics of P and C are required to answer it. Next question from algebra, arithmetic progression and geometric progression. Three positive integers x, y, z are in arithmetic progression. Y minus x has to be greater than 2 and x, y, z is 5x plus y plus z. Then z minus x equal to 1. Okay, so values are in arithmetic progression. So can I say that x, if x, y, z are in arithmetic progression, then y has to be the arithmetic mean of x and z. So can I say x plus z will be equal to 2y? Now if x plus z is equal to 2y, so can I say x, y, z will be equal to 5 into 2y plus y, that is 3y, which is 15y. So can I say x, y, z will be equal to 15y, y, y get cancelled, x, z will be 15. Now you just need to understand in how many ways the product of two numbers can be 15 and because it is given that all these numbers are positive integers so can i say x z can be equal to 15 if you take one number as 1 1 15 second is 3 and 5 these are the only two possible ways of taking the numbers uh, so that the product comes out to be 15 but because it is given that y and x difference is greater than 2 and because of values of arithmetic progression, that whatever difference y and x have, y and z will also have the same difference. So z and x must be at a gap of more than four value. 
इन दिस केस एक्स एंड जेड आर एट गैप ऑफ टू जब एक्स और वाई में टू का से बड़े का गैप है तो वाई और जेड में भी टू से बड़े का गैप होगा सो एक्स और जेड में जो गैप बनेगा वो फोर से बड़ा होना चाहिए सो दैट पेयर जिसमें फोर से बड़े गैप है दैट वैल्यू इज वन एंड फिफ्टीन सो वट वी आर सपोज टू फाइंड आउट इज जेड माइनस एक्स फिफ्टीन माइनस वन आंसर इज फोर्टी सो वन एंड फिफ्टीन इज द ओनली पॉसिबल केस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम लॉगरिदम अंडर एलजेवरा अगेन अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन यू जस्ट नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द सिंपल रूल ऑफ लॉगरिदम that log of a to the base b is equal to x that means a will be equal to b power x that's a standard definition of logarithm aur yahi definition aapko is question mein lagana hai answer karne ke liye sabse pehle aap ye minus 2 ko right hand side mein leke jaoge this will become 2 so now apply this rule ye log to right hand side mein 2 power 2 banega so finally i'll be having 3 plus log to the base 3 4 plus log to the base 4 of x minus 1 will be equal to this number is 2 and this base at 2 will be taken on the right hand side apply this formula 2 power 2 that means 2 power 2 that becomes 4 right so abhi ye 3 right hand side mein jaake minus hoga 4 minus 3 1 banega fir 3 ko leke jaoge to power mein 3 power 1 aayega that will be 3 aur ye 4 wahan jaake minus hoga that would be 3 minus 4 equal to minus 1 Finally, you will be having log x minus one to the base four is equal to minus one. So x minus one will be four power minus one. That is one upon four. Right hand side me four x minus four is equal to one. Which we are supposed to find out is the value of four x. So four x will be four plus one. That means it will be equal to five. You only if you know this rule of logarithm, you'll be able to answer this question. Four x is equal to five. That's the correct answer of the question, right? नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ एलजेब्रा अगेन अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन टू पेयर्स ऑफ इक्वेशंस आर गिवन टू मी एंड आई एम सपोज टू फाइंड आउट एक्स माइनस वाई यू कैन क्लियरली सी दैट एक्स माइनस वाई अगर मुझे फाइंड आउट करना है तो दोनों इक्वेशंस को ऐड करना पड़ेगा व्हाई बिकॉज इफ आई एड दीज टू इक्वेशन आई बी एबल टू मेक एक्स माइनस वाई होल स्केयर राइट सिंपली एड दीज टू इक्वेश आई विल गेट एक्स स्केयर माइनस एक्स वाई माइनस एक्स प्लस वाई स्केयर माइनस एक्स वाई प्लस वाई राइट हैंड साइड विल बी 22 प्लस 34 दैट इज 56 एक्स का वैल्यू वाई से बड़ा होना चाहिए सो कैन आई राइट डाउन दिस नंबर एज एक्स माइनस नाउ दिस यू सी दैट एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स वाई माइनस एक्स वाई दिस बिकम माइनस 2xy राइट माइनस x प्लस y इज इक्वल टू 56 नाउ दिस यू सी इज एक्स माइनस y होल स्क्वायर Minus x minus y is equal to fifty six. Now this is x minus y. X minus y can be taken as common. Minus one is equal to fifty six. Now the product of these two numbers are e is equal to fifty six. ये दोनों numbers का product fifty six चाहिए मेरे को. And okay. And uh, we are supposed to find out x minus y. So guys, just think now. ये दोनों नंबर्स का प्रोडक्ट 56 कैन यू फैक्टराइज 56 इन सच अ वे कि दोनों नंबर्स के बीच में वन का डिफरेंस होना चाहिए और दोनों नंबर्स 56 के फैक्टर्स होने चाहिए ऑब्वियस द ओनली पॉसिबिलिटी इज टू टेक द नंबर एज एक्स माइनस वाई एज एट एट माइनस वन सेवन राइट सो एक्स माइनस वाई इज वट वी आर सपोज टू फाइंड आउट दैट वैल्यू विल बी दैट वैल्यू विल बी एक्स माइनस वाई विल बी सो एट इक्वल राइट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स माइनस वाई विल बी इक्वल टू एट And x minus y minus one will be seven. Very simple, easy, right? Okay. Here is the next question for all the real values of x. Again, an algebraic based question. This was slightly tricky. ये question थोड़ा tricky था. And uh, I messed up with the options here. This value is given to you as one by two. This is four by nine, eight by nine. Yeah, this is like this, right? The typing error. Please correct it. Okay, now we are supposed to find out the range of this function. Now, if you observe this number, observe this function carefully, you see that I can write down this number as x square plus two x plus four divided by two times of x square plus two x plus four plus one. Now, if I take x square plus two x plus four as let's say another variable y, this whole function is now y upon two y plus one, right? 
where the value of y is x square plus 2x plus 4. Now you see that if I want to find out the range of this function, that means I need to find out the minima, minimum value of function f of x as well as the maximum value of this function f of x. All right. You see that here, guys. You see that if I want to find out the minimum value, I need to put y as minimum. Now, y ka minimum value, you see that this is a quadratic equation and the minima of any quadratic equation exists at minus b by 2a. So at x is equal to minus b upon 2 times, that means x equal to minus 1 pe iska minima exist karega. So y minima will be minus 1 ka square, 1 minus 2 plus 4 and that value is 3. The minima of this is 3, right? y ki value 3 minimum hai. So f of x minima, function ka minimum value will be equal to 3 upon uh, 3 into 2 plus 1 that is 7. So 3 upon 7 is a minimum value. And if you look at maximum, maximum is very easy to find out. You see that y upon 2y plus 1 ke case mein. If this function would have been y upon 2y, to ye value aata 1 upon 2. But the 1 in the denominator will never make it equal to 1 upon 2. It will always keep it less than 1 by 2 because denominator mein value bada hoga. So, this number is not going to Y upon 2y, I know, is 1 by 2. Now, y upon 2y is if I go y upon 2y plus 1, pe jana hai, so I am adding 1 in the denominator. Denominator mein 1 add karne se value 1 by 2 se kam aayegi because you have denominator ki value ko increase kiya. In a fraction, if you increase the denominator, the values get down, right? The value will decrease, right? So, therefore, 1 by 2 will be the maximum value. It will approach 1 by 2 maximum, but it will never touch 1 by 2. So, therefore, C is the correct answer to the question, right? 1 ko agar main denominator se remove kata hon, tab ye 1 by 2 banta hai. But 1 to rahega hai denominator mein. So, ye 1 by 2 ko approach kar sakta hai. 1 by 2 can be the maximum value here, right? But it will never actually be 1 by 2. 1 by 2 ko approach karega. So, that's the answer to the question. Very easy, simple. Next question number 16 for all possible integer n for satisfying this. This is very simple guys. What you need is, aapko n ki range nikalna hai. Yaan se, surge and indices ka basic question hai, right? If you first use it this, 2 plus 2 raised to power n plus 2 is less than equal to 202. Then 2 raised to power n plus 2 is less than equal to 200. So can I say 2 power n will be basically less than equal to 2 power n multiplied by 2 power 2 will be less than equal to 200. So can I say 2 power n will be less than equal to 200 by 4 that is 50. 2 power n ko 50 se kam rakhna hai. So n ka value 6 put karne pe 64 banta hai. So can I say 50 se kam rakhne ke liye n has to be less than equal to 5. If n is an integer, if n is an integer, n has to be less than equal to 5. Similarly, if I use the left hand side 2 raised to plus 2 raised to power n plus 2 is greater than or equal to 2.25, then 2 raised to power n plus 2 would be greater than or equal to 0 0.25. So 2 power n multiplied by 2 power 2 is greater than or equal to 1 by 4. 0 0.25 is 1 by 4, right? That means 2 power n has to be greater than or equal to 1 upon 16. So 2 power n has to be greater than or equal to 2 raised to power minus 4. So n ka jo value hona chahiye, wo minus 4 se bada hona chahiye. So finally you get to know that n is greater than or equal to minus 4 and less than or equal to 5. But what I want is an integral value of this expression and I am supposed to find out for how many possible values of n this given expression would be a positive integer. You see that now. 3 plus 3 raised to power n plus 1. If I want this number to be an integer, not just positive. If I want this number to be an integer, to n ka value jo hai, ye jo power jo honi chahiye, ye negative nahi honi chahiye. So minus 4 pe bhi negative hogi ye, minus 3 pe bhi, minus 2 pe bhi negative hogi. Right, minus, to n ka value minus 4, minus 3, minus 2. So you see that, n ki value humare paas minus 4 se minus 5 hai. That means minus 4 bhi ho sakta hai, minus 3 bhi, minus 2 bhi, minus 1 bhi, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ye possible values hai mere paas, right? 
टोटल टेन वैल्यूज बट ये नंबर को पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स बनाने के लिए आप एन में माइनस फोर नहीं पुट कर सकते वाई माइनस फोर प्लस वन वुड भी माइनस थ्री थ्री का पावर माइनस थ्री इज नॉट एन इंटीजर सो ये भी नेगेटिव ये भी इसको इंटीजर फ्रैक्शन बना देगा ये भी फ्रैक्शन बनाएगा दिस विल मेक इट एन इंटीजर एन का एन का वैल्यू माइनस वन प्लस वन विल बिकम जीरो सो जीरो है थ्री पावर जीरो वन होगा दैट वुड बी एन इंटीजर सो माइनस वन विल वर्क जीरो वन विल वर्क वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सब काम करेंगे तो कितना हो गया वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन सेवन वैल्यूज राइट द सेवन वैल्यूज दैट एन कैन टेक फॉर दिस नंबर टू बी पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स राइट नेक्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन इज एन ईजी क्वेश्चन गाइज वेरी सिंपल मॉडुलर्स का बेसिक्स भी अगर किसी बच्चे ने पढ़ा है इफ यू जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द डिस्टेंस अप्रोच ऑफ मॉडुलर्स तो आप इस क्वेश्चन को बहुत आसानी से सोल्व कर सकते हो सी दैट कैन आई चेंज दिस एक्सप्रेशन कैन आई रिप्लेस थ्री एक्स विद वाई राइट कैन आई राइट ऑन दिस एक्सप्रेशन एज वाई माइनस ट्वेंटी मोड प्लस वाई माइनस फोर्टी मोड इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी ऑल यू नीड इज टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस that in modulus right the x minus a mod is equal to y or k means the meaning of this is the distance of x from the origin a distance of x from the origin a is equal to k to so, x ki value a ke right hand side mein a plus k bhi ho sakti hai aur left hand side mein a minus k bhi ho sakta hai right so x minus a is nothing but the distance of x from the origin a that value is equal to k this is how you are supposed to read it x minus a is nothing but distance of x from a right so y minus 20 means distance of y from 20 y minus 40 means distance of y from 40 so basically agar number line pe maine do points liye 20 and 40 ke so as per this statement distance of y from 20 and the distance of y from 40 should be equal to 20 y ek aisi position pe lena hai jiska distance 20 se plus 40 se dono mila ke 20 ke equivalent aana chahiye so if i go on the left hand side now you see that agar maine abhi 20 aur 40 ke beech mein distance 20 ka hai अगर मैंने y को 20 के लेफ्ट में लिया तो ये पूरा डिस्टेंस 20 से बड़ा हो जाएगा सो दैट मीन्स इसके लेफ्ट में आंसर एग्जिस्ट नहीं करेगा 40 के राइट right में कोई y वैल्यू लिया तो ये पूरा डिस्टेंस आप देख रहे हो 20 से ज़्यादा हो जाएगा तो इसलिए y इसके राइट right में भी एग्जिस्ट नहीं करेगा सो कैन आई से y विल लाई बिटवीन दीज टू राइट आप y को इस पूरी रेंज में कहीं भी लो द टोटल डिस्टेंस विल बी सेम एज ट्वेंटी so can i say y would be greater than equal to 20 and less than equal to 40 ye hona chahiye right and because distance should be exactly equal to 20 to equality bhi aa sakta hai koi problem nahi hai so that means 3x ka value would be greater than equal to 20 and less than equal to 40 so x ka value 20 by 3 se bada hona chahiye 40 by 3 se chhota hona chahiye That means x का वैल्यू 6.67 से बड़ा होना चाहिए राइट एंड थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री से छोटा होना चाहिए सो सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन से बड़ा होना चाहिए यहाँ पे सिक्स से बड़ा है सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन से बड़ा चाहिए गलत हो गया ये भी ये थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री से छोटा होना चाहिए यहाँ पे फिफ्टीन से छोटा मतलब फोर्टीन भी चलेगा वो भी गलत हो गया सो so, ये भी गलत हो ओनली ऑप्शन टू विल लाई इन दिस रेंज देखो सेवन से ट्वेल्व की सारी वैल्यू सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन से थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री के बीच में एग्जिस्ट करता है सो ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर एट सपोज वन ऑफ द रूट्स ऑफ द इक्वेशन इज ए एक्स स्केर माइनस बी एक्स प्लस ई जीरो इज टू प्लस रूट थ्री ठीक है स्क्वाडिटिक इक्वेशन में राइट right, अगर आपको कोई एक रियल रूट दिया हुआ यू सी दैट टू प्लस रूट थ्री इज रियल नंबर राइट इफ वन ऑफ द रूट इज टू प्लस रूट थ्री and because it is an irrational number the second root will automatically become 2 minus root 3 the second root has to be the conjugate root of this right quadratic equation may one if one root is a plus root b then as per the standard rules the other roots will become a minus root b why why is so because rational number tabhi aata hai roots of a quadratic equations are written as minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac upon 2a So, अगर ये इेशनल नंबर होगा तो यहां पे एक बार रूट प्लस के साथ आएगा तो दूसरी बार ही माइनस के साथ आएगा 
या प्लस है तो दूसरी बार जो रूट आएगा वो टू माइनस रूट थ्री आएगा राइट सो वी कैन से दैट कि ये जो क्वांटिटी की इक्वेशन है इसका एक रूट टू प्लस रूट थ्री है एक रूट टू माइनस रूट थ्री है सो इसका समीशन ऑफ समीशन ऑफ क्वांटिटी की इक्वेशन इज माइनस बी बाई ए सो माइनस टाइम्स ऑफ एक्स का कोफिशन इज माइनस बी अपॉन ए इज इक्वल टू समीशन ऑफ रूट इज हाउ मच टू माइनस रूट थ्री टू प्लस रूट थ्री समीशन ऑफ रूट विल बी फोर सो कैन आई से बी विल बी इक्वल टू फोर टाइम्स ऑफ ए राइट ए बी सी आर द रैशनल नंबर राइट ए इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो बी इज इक्वल टू सी क्यूब देन ए मॉड इज इक्वल टू वट बी इज गिवन टू मी एज इक्वल टू सी क्यूब राइट नाउ बी इज इक्वल टू फोर ए द वैल्यू ऑफ बी इज गिवन टू मी एज फोर ए ओके वट इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ रूट डू आई नीड टू टेक द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ रूट यस यस यू सी दैट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ रूट इज सी अपॉन ए and that product of root would be 2 minus root 3 into 2 plus root 3 because a is on the roots hai that would be a square minus b square 2 into 2 2 ka square 4 root 3 ka square minus 3 that is 1 so c will be equal to a here right c ka value a ke equal aa gaya now we are supposed to find out mod of a it's very easy now because we have found the relationship b is equal to c cube diya hai aapko b is equal to c cube right so right let's, let's try to convert it into a b ka value is 4a c is a cube so can i say that a square is equal to 2 so a ka jo value aayega that will be plus minus 2 because we are supposed to find out mod of a mod a ka jo value ho sakta hai wo plus 2 ka mod to plus 2 hi hoga aur minus 2 ka mod karenge to wo bhi plus 2 aayega right so mod of a will be Two and that is the correct answer to the question. Two will be the correct one. So, guys, here's the next question number forty-nine of algebra. It's a sequence and series-based question, but a very simple one. You just need to observe it that the sum sequence of real number x one, x two, x n, right, is given to you. This is a summation of these terms of this sequence is given to you as n square plus two n. That means x1 minus x2 plus x3 minus x4 plus x5 and so on equal to minus one raised to power n plus one into x n is given to you as n into n plus two. Right. Now you see this, guys. What I want to find out is x49 plus x50. If I put the value of x as 49 observe this guys every even term of the sequence is having a negative sign with it and every odd term of the sequence is having a positive sign with it so if i put the value of n as 50 then i will be getting the summation of 50 terms of the sequence with even terms having a negative sign and odd terms having a positive sign that means Summation. Let's say that summation of fifty terms of the sequence. Summation of fifty term of this sequence will be equal to fifty multiplied by fifty two, and this is equal to twenty six hundred. Summation of forty nine terms of the sequence will be equal to forty nine multiplied by fifty one, and this will be equal to forty nine into forty nine is two four zero one. Forty nine into two is ninety eight. That would be two four nine nine. Right. And summation of forty-eight term of the sequence will be equal to forty-eight multiplied by fifty, and that is equal to twenty-four hundred. Okay. Now you see that summation of in when I'm finding the summation of fifty term of the sequence, the last term would be the even term with the negative sign, and that will be x fifty. So can I say that the value of s fifty will be equal to? Will be equal to summation of first forty nine terms, summation of first forty nine terms, plus the last term that is x fifty, and because even term is having a negative sign, it would be s forty nine minus x fifty, guys, right? Summation of first fifty term of the sequence will be equal to summation of first forty nine minus x fifty. So if I want to find out the value of x fifty, this will be equal to s forty nine minus s fifty. What is s forty nine? It is two four double nine. And what is s fifty? It is twenty six hundred. 
So this you can see is equal to minus 101, right? Now, what I need to find out is, so I got x50, what I need is x49 now. You see that summation of first 49 terms will be equal to summation of 48 terms plus the 49th term and because this is odd number, it will be having a positive sign with it. So now you see that x49 will be equal to s48 minus s49. What is s48? It is 2400. What is s49? s49 is 2499. This is minus 99, right? This will be equal to minus 99, right? S49 will be S48 minus S49. That's correct. Now, what I want to find out is summation of X49 and X50. Summation of these two will be equal to, summation of these two will be minus 101 minus 99. This is equal to minus 200, everybody. So, answer is fourth option. Fourth option is a correct answer to the question, right? Now look at the geometry question guys. So we have done all arithmetic questions, number system question, PNC, algebra. We are left with only three geometry questions. Geometry I would say was the easiest section of CAT 2021. Geometry which the children have done basics, the children can solve these questions in 20-20 seconds. Ko questions ko only with the basics. No extra knowledge required. No advanced level knowledge required. No advanced knowledge ki jo in questions ko handle karne ke liye. Very basic level pe geometry aaya tha. So that's the reason students should not be leaving even a single topic of mathematics when they are preparing for CAT because which section se easy question aaya, you'll never know that. This you see is so simple and easy one. See that, let D and E be the points on side AB and AC. A, B and C. D and E are the points on side A, B and E, C. D is a point here, let's say E is a point here, right? Such that A, D ratio B, D is 2 ratio 1. That means if this side is 2, then this side is 1. A, E ratio C is 2 ratio 3. That means if this side is 2, then this side would be 3. If the area of triangle A, D, E is 8 square centimeters. So guys, it's the simplest and easy question. Area of ADE is given to me as 8 centimeters square. What we are supposed to find out is the area of the whole triangle ABC. Guys, you see that ADE and ABC both have a same angle theta. Can I say that area of triangle ADE with respect to the area of triangle ABC will be equal to half into in ADE, right, you should know that in a triangle, if two adjacent sides is given to you and the angle between them is theta, then the area of triangle, area of triangle is half into AB sine theta. Area of triangle is half into AB sine theta. So area of ADE would be this side multiplied by this side divided by sine theta, half into 2 into 2 into sine theta divided by half into area of triangle ABC is this whole side, this whole side multiplied by sine of theta. This whole side is 3, this whole side is 6, right? 3, this is 2 plus 1, 3, 2 plus 3, 5, sorry. Multiplied by sine theta. So sine theta, sine theta get cancelled, this get cancelled. So ratio would be 4 upon 15, right? That means if this area is 4, then the whole area would be 15. If I make this area as 8, then the whole area would be 30. We are supposed to find out the area of triangle ABC. So the answer to the question would be 30. 30 is the correct answer to the question. Simple, easy. You know this concept, you can solve the question easily. Look at the next question, 2021 slot 2. Sides AB and CD of a trapezium ABCD are parallel. There is a trapezium given to you, right? This is again... A simple easy question. This is a trapezium A, B, C, D is given to you as a trapezium. A, B and C, D are parallel. P is a midpoint of C, D guys. So when I say P is a midpoint of C, D, that means this side is same as this side. If the difference between the area of the parallelogram and the triangle B, P, C is 10 square centimeters. So the area of now, it is given to you that 
the difference between the area of the parallelogram a b p d is a parallelogram that means if i join b with p then a b p d is a parallelogram now guys you should know that in a parallelogram opposite sides are parallel and equal that means this side will be same as this side and this side will be same as this side and both of these two sides are also same now you see this guys it's, it's such a simple question if i join a with p look at it guys the length dp is same as ab and dp is same as pc so dp is same as ab and dp is same as pc so can i say pc will be same as ab that means these two sides will also be same right so this side this side and this side length is same now because ab is parallel to cd and the length of this side is same as this side the, both of these two triangle will be having the same area if i say this area is a then this area will also be equal to a and because it is given that a b c d why why both these areas same because base is same and both are made between two parallel side height of both of these two triangle this triangle this triangle this triangle this triangle both of these two triangle have the same height why because they are made between two parallel sides right and now look at this a b c d p d is a parallelogram if this is a parallelogram then you can say that then we can say that this area right this area would be same as this because diagonal divide the parallelogram into two equal areas otherwise you can say that this side is same as this side and because both sides are parallel for the same reason this area will also be a now question says the difference between area of parallelogram abpd and bpc is 10 that means area of parallelogram abcd is a plus a that is 2a minus area of triangle bpc is a that this area is given to you as 10 so that means a is 10 if a is 10 then this would be 10 this would be 10 the whole abcd area would be 30 fourth option would be the correct answer now look at the next question of geometry a rhombus has a area of 12 square cm and the side length 5 cm then the length in cm is longer diagonal is what so again a simple easy question ncert based question right you will definitely you can you, you can definitely see this type of question in ncert books A B C D is a rhombus, right? A B C D is a rhombus. Now, a rhombus has two diagonals, and both of these two diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly. Diagonal one and diagonal two bisect each other perpendicularly. We are supposed to find out the length of the longer diagonal. Okay. Now, let's say that this length is D one, then this length will also be D one. Now, let's say this length is D two, then this length will also be D two. right why both of these two diagonal lengths are same because diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly now the area area of the rhombus everybody know that is half into diagonal 1 which is 2 times of d1 diagonal 2 which is 2 times of d2 and this area is given to you as 12 square cm this get cancel so d1 multiplied by d2 will be equal to 6 right d1 multiplied by d2 is equal to 6 right and because, because the side, side length is given, given to you as 5 so can i also say that d1 square plus d2 square will be equal to 25 right d1 square plus d2 square will be equal to 25 right now you see this guys if, if i have, have to find out the length of the longer diagonal Here you have to use your algebra skills. The product of these two numbers is given, and some of scales of these two numbers is also given to you. Can you see this? Can I apply the basic algebraic identity? D1 plus D2 whole square is equal to D1 square plus D2 square plus two times of D1 D2. Right. So, so now d1 square plus d2 square is 25. D1 D2 is 6. 25 plus 6 into 2. 25 plus 6 into 2 is 12. That is 37. So I get d1 plus d2 as root 37. Similarly, guys, d1 minus d2 will be equal to 25 minus 12. That is root 30. Now, if I add them up, two times of d1 will be equal to root 37 plus root 30. And the lo my last longer diagonal is two times of d1. 
and two times of v1 is root 37 plus root 13. So answer is C option. That's correct, guys. C is the correct answer. Very easy. You can say that. So, guys, we have done the CAT 2021 slot 2 similar to this. I will be uploading the solution of CAT 2021 slot 3 also on the video, on, on the video channel, on this channel. You already, I already have uploaded CAT 2021 slot 1, uh, uh, complete one. DAL solution will also be uploaded on the same channel. Please subscribe to the channel and share it with all of your friends. You can also cover a lot of syllabus for your CAT and OMTs. There are 100 DIL sets that I have already uploaded on the channel. There is also a video of 100 quant questions from the previous year CAT papers. That video is also there already on the channel. 100 plus DIL sets have already been uploaded on the channel. You guys can take the help for your DIL section uh, from these videos on the channel. Check, check these videos on the channel and please share it and subscribe. Thanks a lot.